Hello, I'm Al Kirian, and I'm going to be giving you a demonstration today of Terrainscape and its ability to paint real-time textures onto advanced terrain for Dark Basic Pro and um, application of super textures and a couple of the painting tools. Today I'm just going to demonstrate the burn tool which will allow us to burn textures into the super texture. Um, so for starters what we're going to do is we're going to set the current painting canvas. I'm going to select the super texture and there's the super texture. Let me go ahead and move this terrain properties out of the way and uh, let me go ahead and set the current set the current colors here as soon as I get up to where I want to be. I want to move up this way a little bit, get up above the terrain. Let's go over here. This looks like a nice place. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's go over here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the color picker and I'm going to pick directly out of 3D coordinates here. That sets the first color, four color in other words. And let's go ahead and set the back color. Right clicking. All right. Now let's go ahead and turn that off and uh now let's get over here and select our brush. We're going to go ahead and do a nice little round brush. And what you need to remember is we're going to be doing um, we're going to be doing some color burning today, which actually burns color into the texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to this area of the map, find out where I'm at, because I got a nice little cube that tells me where I'm at on my uh, 3D map when I'm hovering over the 2D image. So what I can do is I can start off by dodging a little color, which is currently set by the four color of the uh, painting gadget, which is right over here. I'm going to move it around so you guys can see it. Now I can increase the brush's strength, which will allow it to flow onto the canvas a bit faster, as you'll see here. You can see it turning red in the main image here because I'm doing a color dodge and you can see it'll turn red on that and it'll kind of turn yellowish brown on the green. Now it's going to continue to do this until it turns entirely white. If I turn the brush strength up, of course it flows much quicker. I'm going to go ahead and swap the colors. I'm going to now burn the green. And you'll see that everything turns like a nice bright green unless I intersect with uh, other colors like reds or blues or whatever and uh, as you can see I'm painting directly on the terrain itself uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's choose a different color real quick let's choose a blue give this some different look to it okay now we got a nice blue color here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, move up the terrain a bit so you can see me painting off in the distance now and I'm going to go ahead and uh, dodge this with some blue color out there. And voila, the terrain is blue. Let's uh, make it purple. And we'll do some purple to color dodging right over here. And there we go. There's some purple. I'm going to go ahead and hop into fly through mode real quick. Well actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a change to the, uh, to the height map texture real quick. Let's go ahead and change the color of that. Make this uh, white. Okay. Now, like before, um, I can tell where I'm at on the height map because I've got my little box that follows me around when I paint. And you can see it applies itself fairly quickly. I'm going to turn the uh, brush strength down quite a bit. Turn it down to about a 6 or a 4. And you can see it's applying fairly slow now and light. And 
then what I can do is I can tell it to go ahead and quickly render the terrain. This will just go ahead and render the terrain without updating any collision data or anything else. And there we are, we got our nice mound right there. Now we can switch texture or switch uh, our working textures real quick back to the super texture. And if I wanted to modify that particular part of the terrain, I could find it on the train here, find it on my editor, and there it is. I can lighten this up a bit. Let's turn the brush strength up a little bit. See now I'm directly inside of that train. I can go ahead and paint directly on top of it and it'll turn it white right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move some of this other junk out of the way. Yeah, I know I need to work on the UI a bit. But anyways, here we go. We're going to do a quick little walkthrough so we can look what our changes kind of look like in real time here as they would inside of your first person shooter or RTS or RPG or whatever you're making. You know, you oblivion nuts out there. So there's our quick demonstration. Now we've uh, obviously burnt the landscape, but we can also um, dodge a landscape or um, do subtractive, multiplicative, or uh, additive coloring to the landscape, or direct painting just like you can in MS Paint for you people that like to do it that way. Um, upcoming updates will um, feature fractal based ter uh, terrain painting where it actually do um, some boolean operations with fractals and do programmatic texturing of your landscapes so painting may not even be necessary for some of you out there who would like to have some programmatic texturing so that's about it thanks for watching